Hi everyone. So today I'm going to be telling you about what I think is the best tube amplifier for gigging guitar players. And that's this amp right here, the Mesa Boogie California Tweed. Particularly the 20 watt combo with the 10 inch speaker. The reason why I think this is the perfect amplifier for gigging guitar players is number one, because of the versatility, and number two, because of its size and weight. On the versatility front, we have the ability to switch between 1 watts, 15 watts, and 20 watts with Mesa Boogie's multi-watt power scaling feature. This allows you to get anywhere from natural to overdriven tube tones all the way up to a totally clean pedal platform amp. You have a very powerful 4-band EQ, a super effective master volume where you can get exactly the tone you want at either bedroom levels or on stage. And finally, it has built-in spring reverb. Now, the number one reason I bought this amplifier is because of its size and weight. As a gigging musician, I'm often playing around town at various bars and events, and I have to lug my own gear. I don't have stagehand or roadies to help out. At these shows, I'm sometimes parked multiple blocks away and have to haul all of my gear to the event. So I actually used to use a Fender Pro Junior, another very small, lightweight amplifier, but I was looking for something that was more versatile and just in a higher caliber of tone. And so that's why I looked to the California Tweed. This amplifier is slightly smaller than a Princeton Reverb and weighs just 26 pounds. Now I'm going to show you a few of my favorite tones you can get from this amplifier. For all of these demos, I will be playing either my Fender Telecaster or my Gibson ES335 plugged directly into the amplifier mic'd up with a Shure SM58 and a Cascade Fathead. All of the reverb you're hearing in this demo will be directly from the built-in tube reverb on the amp. Now, as the name implies, this amp does a really great overdriven tube tone. For this demo, I will be showing you on the one watt setting with the gain quite high up. All of the EQ is just gonna be totally flat. My favorite way to run this amp is on the edge of breakup. So for that, I go to the 15 watt setting and I dial back the gain so we get just a hair of natural overdrive. Now the final way that I like to use this amp is as a clean pedal platform amp. So first I'll show you the amp totally clean with no pedals involved and then I will grab an overdrive and a boost to show you how those interact with the front end of the amp. For this setting I'm going to be on the 20 watt mode and I'm going to dial the gain back quite a bit.
So now I'm going to be showing you what it sounds like using an overdrive in front of this clean amp. For the overdrive, I'll be using the Golden Boy by Jackson Audio. If you're curious to learn more about this pedal, I have a whole walkthrough of its feature set linked down below. First, here's the clean tone. Another great way to use this amplifier is on the edge of breakup and actually just using a boost for your solos to push it into that naturally overdriven state. One of the other really great features about this amplifier is it has a very powerful four band EQ where you can use it to dial in anything from those tweed tones as the name implies, but you can also do really great deluxe reverb and even brown panel type sounds just by tweaking the EQ a little bit. So I'm going to give you an example of trying to get a deluxe reverb type clean tone. So for this, crank the treble a little bit, I'm going to crank the bass and dial that mid back quite a bit. If you're looking to get more of a brown panel or tweed type tone, what I'd recommend doing is dialing back the bass and the treble a little bit, keeping that around noon, and then really cranking up the mids. Now, as you've been hearing throughout the video, this amp has a really great tube reverb built right into the amplifier. It does everything from a really nice, subtle reverb just to give a little bit of extra space and width to the tone, but can also get very splashy if you want it to. So here's just a nice, subtle reverb. Now here's what it sounds like with the reverb set quite high.
Now, to talk about a couple of things that I don't like about this amplifier. And I should mention that these are very minor things, but I did think it would be worthwhile to point them out. The first thing is that the spring reverb, since it is in a small combo amp, once you're playing this amp quite loud and have the reverb up, you get a lot of unpleasing noise artifacts in that reverb. And I think the reason for that is because it is a small combo amp, having those springs right beside where that speaker is just causes those springs to vibrate in such a way that it gives, um, you know, unpleasant sounds into your reverb sound. So I like to actually keep the reverb quite low when I'm playing live. In addition, the other thing that I don't like about this amplifier is that the reverb knob is actually on the back of the amplifier. This makes dialing in that exact right amount of reverb uh, on a gig kind of a pain. So I think that it'd be much better if they had that reverb knob on the front. Um, you know, they could remove this logo right there and just have it right on the front. There's enough space on there. But those are very minor things. Overall, I think that if you are looking for a great amp for gigging, particularly, I think you should give a very serious look to the California Tweed, particularly the 20 watt 10 inch speaker version, just due to its size and weight. Finally, I want to thank you all so much for watching. If you could all like this video and subscribe to the channel, it would really help out a lot. Thank you guys so much and we'll see you next time.